Hello and welcome to My Support Solutions YouTube channel. In this video session, we will learn how to assign source of supply in SAP Purchase Requisition. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our My Support Solutions YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon, and select all notifications to get the latest and free updates after every new video upload. If you like our video, then please click on the like button. Also, share our videos. Now we'll start our topic. So first we'll take example and then we'll do practical. Our company is ABC Limited. We have one plant 1000. This is our plant code and 100-100. This is our material code. You can observe the below screenshot. This screenshot belongs to the list of purchase requisitions which we have already created and at the time of creation of this purchase requisitions, we have not add or we have not assigned source of supply. So this is a list of a, those or such purchase requisitions. Now, see here, this is a screenshot that uh, in a source of supply tab, no vendor is mentioned, means we have not assigned any source of supply. So to assign a source of supply to different purchase requisitions, in our practical sessions, we will follow or we will use this ME56 transaction code. And after using this transaction code, this will be the screenshot of the PR source of supply. And this is a fixed vendor which is assigned. This screenshot belongs to only one purchase requisition, but in ME56 transaction code, we can assign source of supply to a bulk purchase requisitions as you can observe, as you can observe this screenshot. So what we will do in our practical session, we'll assign source of supply these five purchase requisitions. Now we we'll start our practical and we'll use transaction code ME56. ME56 press enter. This tree code belongs to assign source of supply to requisitions. Material, we will give material code and plant. These details are enough for us. Click on execute. Now, this is a list. We can observe this list in this uh, screenshot also. Now, what we will do? See, there are two ways assign automatically and assign manually. So we will process or we will assign source of supply to these five purchase requisitions. Out of this five, uh, we will assign two purchase requisitions manually and the rest of the three automatically. So select one by one. See this purchase requisition 13678. Assign manually. Fixed vendor, here we want to assign 1000 as our vendor. Assign source of supply. Centrally agree, okay. Continue. And see this vendor, info record, vendor and purchase organization. So system has assigned this vendor. And it will be confirmed after we save or we change the equation. Okay. Second will assign the different vendor okay 1001 click on assign source of supply info record of the respective vendor plant material purchase organization and the detail okay this is the third 13680 assign manually and uh, 1002 okay info record vendor and other details now here the rest of the two purchase requisitions we will uh, assign source of supply through assign automatically okay click on assign automatically and here uh, let us say we will select this 1001 assign and this last uh, PR 13682 click on assign automatically means system will suggest the list of the vendors and here what is the difference in uh, assign 
manually we have to find or we have to give this manually the details okay and click on assign automatically double click or select the vendor required vendor and this is assign and now this change will be after when we save or click on this change requisitions button control s purchase requisitions change we have changed five purchase requisitions we have assigned sources of supply source of supply to these five purchase requisitions and now uh, we will check this one purchase requisition 13682 one double zero one three six eight two. Okay. Uh, take care. Display requisition. Now here source of supply is assigned. Now like uh, one three six eight one. See here, system has assigned the source of supply, required source of supply, which we have given. And this is 13680PR. In source of supply, this is a vendor. So this is how we can link or we can assign source of supply to different purchase requisitions in SAP. That's all for now in this video. Thank you for watching. Keep in touch and bye-bye.